Welcome back, everyone. This is the third Let's Play Dominion video. We've got a returning guest today. Hello, Theraman here. Nice to be back. Yep, and today's kingdom is called Deck Top. So we're going to have a lot of cards that interact with the top of the deck in hopefully interesting ways. And most of the strategies are going to revolve around that. We got five cards that we've seen before in this series, and five new ones. And first up, we got Harbinger. This is a second edition card. You get plus one card, plus one action. And then you get to look through your discard pile. Again, you don't get to do that unless you play a card that tells you to. And you can put any one card from your discards on top of your deck. It's pretty handy if there's a card you've already discarded that you want to have either in your next hand, or if you've got the capacity to draw again, you can draw it into your hand for this turn. Next up, we got Vassal. It gives you two coins, and then you discard the top card of your deck. But if it's an action card, you can play it instead of discarding it. What's kind of neat is you can combine these two cards, use Harbinger to put an action card on top of your deck, and then use the Vassal to play it without having to draw it first. For those of you who are familiar with the later expansions of the game, try comparing those two cards to Scavenger from Dark Ages and Herald from Guilds. And I think you might find the results interesting. Next up we got Village again, plus one card, plus two actions. Bureaucrat puts a silver on top of your deck, and then everybody else has to put a victory card on top of their deck. Moneylender is a new one. It lets you trash a copper from your hand for an immediate three coins. So you can get rid of the coppers if you don't want to keep them around, but you get an immediate influx of money, and it will always at least allow you to buy a silver on that turn. So it's not like you're completely bankrupting yourself. Then Council Room, the best draw card probably in the original set. You get four additional cards, and you get a buy. The downside is, everybody else also gets to draw a card, which makes their next hand better. It's pretty nice to combine this with something like Militia, so if you play a bunch of council rooms, draw a bunch of cards, and your opponents all have big hands, you can then force them all to discard down to three cards. Just be aware, they're going to do the same thing back to you. They got a lot of cards to pick from, and they're just going to keep their three best. Festival comes back, two actions, a buy, and two coins. And then we've got Laboratory, another really good draw card. It doesn't look like much, just plus two cards, plus one action, but it is increasing the size of your hand directly. It's a one-card engine, basically. You play a bunch of Laboratories, you're going to have a ton of cards to work with, and you still have an action left over. And then we get to see Sentry again, plus card, plus action. Look at the top two cards of your deck, and you can trash or discard whichever ones you don't want to keep. Again, really nice to combine that with stuff like Vassal. Or you could use a Harbinger to put something on top of your deck that you want to draw. And then your Sentry is going to help you filter out the next couple of cards. The plus card with Harbinger and Sentry does kind of mess with things when you want to put something on top of your deck and then trash it with Sentry. You can't do that. But there are other cards in the game that do just interact with the top card of the deck, like Vassal. And finally, Artisan. Gain a card to your hand that costs up to five. Put a card from your hand on top of your deck. So again, you could, gain, you could gain something like a Festival or a Sentry that you want to play immediately, put it on top of the deck, and then if you've got another action, play a Vassal and play the action card you just top decked. So a lot of really good stuff here for putting things on top of the deck and using what's on top of your deck. So any final thoughts before we jump in? Oh, just that, that I especially admire Artisan because uh, if there's any effects in play that makes Artisan cost one less, uh, there's a lot of crazy combos that you could do with Artisan costing five due to its ability to get itself. Yep, yeah, unfortunately, I don't believe there's anything in the base set that will do that, but when we get to the expansions, we'll be seeing a lot of cost reducers. Oh, uh, yes, because, uh, yeah, in some of the early expansions, we'll get into things like uh, Bridge and Highway. Mm hmm All right, so let's get started. I'm up first. And 
end on a 4-3, I'm pretty much always going to start with a Moneylender. Alright, so I have three. What Harbinger? Alright, for my three, I think I'm going to go for silver. My four will be a money lender. Hmm. We got another three. You know, a couple of good options. Uh, I'm going to take Harbinger. Another four. Village for that. Yeah, I thought about village. I'm going to start thinning, even though it leaves me with seven. I'm going to get an artisan. I can start getting some of those five cost actions. Yeah, unfortunately, I only have five, so I'm going to get a sentry. Yeah, still a good choice. And on four, I'll take a village. Hmm. That's fine. Or yeah, so with that. All right. So we'll harbinger. Hmm. I'll go ahead and put something on top of the deck. Count my money. I could get six. I'm not sure that I want that. I was kind of hoping to have a village this turn, but I did not draw it. Well, let's get a council room. And for four. Another village. It's not all that useful to have too many villages early on, but later on I'm going to wish that I had them. Thank me later. All right, nice. So now I've actually got actions. So let me gain a sentry. And I'll put that on top. Well, do I want to start trashing coppers now? 
Yeah, I think I probably do. So I've got seven again, but I've got two buys. Problem is, there's really nothing good to get for four. And bureaucrat's not all that good if I can afford gold regularly. I'm going to get a festival. And that'll be it. Basically starting to look at getting some money into my deck through actions rather than through treasures. Seven. Yay! Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, and I don't have discards, so I can't do a whole lot. Let me get another council room. Sounds like someone's being arrested outside. Uh-oh. No, it's not me. Better get another village. Here we go. Ernestin Dean Ng. Sentry. Top deck. This. And then play the sentry, I presume. You'll play sentry. Trash. Drop. Honey Trash. Six. Artisan. Double artisans. Okay, so village, festival, and council room. Village. And sentry before drawing. Mm. Yeah, go ahead and draw that. And hello, deck! So, what all do I want here? I think I want a festival. Doesn't really matter what I top deck, but I think I better draw it. And I got 11 coins and a whole bunch of buys. Let's get another festival and a laboratory. Hey, village. What are you saying? Festival. Top deck. Festival. Artisan. Festival. Top deck. Century. Trash. Festival. Eight and three buys. Hard to say. Now I see what's going on. Let's get some draws going on here. I think I'd better get a festival before they're all out. And 
was kind of hoping to get something for filtering. I think the real problem is we've got nothing that'll discard the cards that are already in your hand. Uh, there we go, some stuff I can trash. And I think that's really all the plays I desperately need. So with 13, is it time to start getting provinces, or do we want to just keep building here? I think festivals are kind of a threat, and vassal's probably a good idea. Yeah, if your deck is mostly action, this vessel starts getting better. Mm -hmm. First of all... Yeah, the only problem is, as long as I can draw my entire deck every turn, I'll never have a discard pile, so the Harbinger is useless. Sentry. In a village. Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, realizing a village isn't gonna help you draw a pass to every top deck. Hmm. Oh, the port's where it helps. There's, there's my deck. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think we're both completely out of copper now. You get a province and a vassal. Yep. Make sure your vassal's got something other than an action card to hit. Alright, what do I want to draw? Oh. Go ahead and do that first. I'm going to make sure I keep some draw cards around. Festival. Pop it on top there. And hope. Hooray! Hello, moneylender. Hmm. Alright, so I didn't get a whole lot that turn, but it means I've actually got a discard pile. Not that Harbinger is going to come up by the time it's gone. Hmm. Hmm. Clearly, I need more draw. So let's get a council room and another vassal. Alright. Village. That's the wall of village. Sentry. Ah, let's get rid of that money lender. Oh, cool. Entry. 
Most cards are fine. Oratory. Avenger. Laboratory. Festival. I'm still a boy, Tori. Tori. Fastle nothing on top. Yeah, that's the other problem with drawing your deck. Press the whole top deck that province. If everything else in your deck is good for you, then so much the better. But you got to watch for top decking your stop cards. Oh yeah. yeah. Granted, you're probably about to draw it. There we go. Oh, it's the end. Yeah, Phil just helps me try. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see what's on top. Let's play... How? Okay, there we go, play action. Alright, draw the last two cards of my deck. Good. And. Yeah, I guess I probably want to trash the estate. Yeah, I'll go ahead and. Stick an artisan on top. Now, what order do I want to do things in? Let me take a council room, plop it on top, and then vassal it. And a couple more of those out. Mm. And what is the last card in my deck? Silver. Do I need a silver? Well, I don't know what I would buy for 20 coins that I can't buy for 18. And I think you've got a big enough hand as it is. So what am I going to get? I rather think it has to be two provinces. I'm not sure what... <coughs> no, excuse me. I'm not sure what my opinion is on Counts Room since... You draw four cards, mm -hmm. you have your opponent one. Yeah. If my deck was, if my deck, if this was a game where my deck was full of curses and stuff, then one card doesn't make much difference. But at the same time, my deck is already efficient, so I'm not sure how beneficial that drawing that card is. I guess I could still miss now that I have provinces in my deck, but I still, I'm, I'm still go either way on it. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure that your deck has the capacity to get two provinces in a turn. Whereas mine quite clearly does. 
Mm. So if I buy two provinces for the next two turns, or even you know two provinces next turn, and you get one province each turn, I've got the additional money in my deck that I could potentially get in a state or two, and I've got lots of buys from the council rooms and festivals. You've only got three festivals to my seven, and one vassal to my two, so you're not getting a lot of money from your actions. That's true. So I'm thinking that's where you know your strategy doesn't have you able to get as many victory points as quickly as mine does. Plus, if I play my whole deck, I've got 12 buys. If I have enough money, I could potentially buy out all the villages and all the estates. And that should be enough to force a win at this point. Hmm. I trying to consider what strategy is there. Four provinces left. Mm -hmm. But you've got two more provinces to be 25 to 12. Gain a Dutchy top deck of silver. Mm -hmm. Ernestin gain a Dutchy top deck. Silver. Yeah, it's the one box. thing your deck does better than mine is you've got lots of potential Dutchy gaining. So let's see what we've got here. I think I probably want to keep the estate at this point. Alright, I also took the duchies there since I knew that due to the composition of my deck, the last few cards uh, on the bottom had to be good cards that wouldn't get affected by the yep. duchies till after I shuffled. Alright, there we go. There's some good stuff. I think I have to play the Vassal now. Yeah, we got that. And again, I don't have quite enough draw to get everything. Hmm. I think I'll take a duchy as well. So I can't end the game immediately. Not with a win. If I get two provinces, then I'm up four points. The last province would be enough for you to win. I think I'm going to have to province double duchy. Again, I'm relying on the fact that I don't believe you have enough capacity in your deck to get two provinces in a turn. And if you do province double duchy again, then I should be able to get ahead of you with the province, duchy, and potentially a couple of estates.
But yeah, this is what I was talking about in some of the earlier videos when I mentioned creating an economy with no treasures. The only treasure I've got in my deck is a single silver, and there's every possibility that I would zap that if it came up. Yeah, you're, you're looking kind of short there. Okay, so six points this turn and emptying a pile wins. We'll see if I can do it. Nope. So with ten coins, what can I do? We'll definitely be able to kick off the next turn. Oh, I had mentally resigned myself from this game. I thought you had it. Or at least your deck had such a high chance of getting it. Nope. No. Well, it was reasonable, but I have been getting a lot of victory cards. So, at the very least, you win outright with province and two estates. but I could not even afford getting a province that turn. Oh, I have, oh, and all those actions. The council room helps me a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's... Yep. Well, because now I can do this. This. Yep. Ten, why is it province and an estate? Yep. And, and three are... curses. Alas. It was close. Oh. <laughs> that was an exciting game. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just had one dud turn when it counted. Ah, that's such as Dominion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the council rooms may very well have helped you more than they helped me, or you know, maybe I just built a little too much or not quite enough. An interesting deck there would have, would have been for me to uh, continue buying up the artisans and then just have a turn where I suddenly use a whole bunch of them to, to empty the duchy pile. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that would benefit you all that much, though, because once you've got that many duchies, you're not going to be getting provinces very quickly. Well, I, ideally with uh, that number of artisans, I can empty one of the other piles quickly beforehand. Yeah, that's a good point. But I think but the main reason why I didn't do it was that your deck was already so efficient that it would, on this board, it would have been just too slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the issue, is since the Artisan doesn't come with an extra action, you gotta have a bunch of festivals or villages to be able to do anything useful with it. And being able to play six to eight Artisans in a turn... A, you gotta have that many in your deck. B, you gotta draw them all. C, you've still gotta have the actions to play them. Hmm. Oh, I've played Ar uh, Artisan on boards before where we were using cards such as uh, we were playing with Champion, where whenever you play an action, you uh, get an ac you get an extra action. Yeah, I mean, if you've got Champion, that completely like that, yeah. changes the way you look at the board. Hmm. 
you know, sure, you can get a whole bunch of terminal draw cards. As long as you get that champion out, then they all become non-terminal draw, and everything's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just getting to that point can be kind of tricky. Yeah. So Saracen has a lot of potential you can get to that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not sure what I could have done differently. I think that all just utterly came down to luck at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could have easily been out of the way. Yeah, either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, I was counting on being able to double province every turn and just couldn't keep it up. And the village pile was not quite low enough. Maybe what I needed to do was buy some estates earlier and attempt to trash them with sentry, but I didn't have enough sentries for that either. Mm. And the harbinger buy was probably a complete waste. Because by the time I actually got around to playing it, I was drawing my whole deck. You know, get rid of the harbinger, put in another sentry, and I think my deck is that much better. Anyway, thanks for the game, and thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye, everybody.